In this video, I'll show you how to convert verbal statements into algebraic equations. This is part two of the series. The first question asks, a person invests part of his $10,000 savings in a bank at 6% and part in a certificate of deposit at 8%. He gets a total of 750 per year in interest from the two investments. How much is invested at each rate? So this person has $10,000 and part of it has gone to one account and a part of it has gone to another account. Let's call the first part X and the second investment Y. And if we add these two investments together, we end up with 10,000. We are told that he earns $750 per year in interest. So if we took X and multiplied it, by 8%, which, by the way, we like to use the decimal version of 8%, which would be 0 0.08, and added it to the other account, which is at 6%, we should end up with 750. So we have two equations, x plus y is equal to 10,000, and this one. What I'll do is clean this one up a little bit, and if you do that, it should look like this. And what we have is a linear system. And you can solve this by substitution or elimination, it's up to you. Whichever method you use, if you do this correctly, you should end up with the following answers for x and y. 7,500 for the one that was 8% interest, and 2,500 for the one at 0.06% interest. And like I mentioned earlier, these can be found using elimination, substitution, or even any calculator that has the ability to solve linear systems. In question two, we're asked, how much steel containing 5.25% nickel must be combined with another steel containing 2.84% nickel to make 3.25 tons of steel containing 4.15% nickel? So to do this question, we have two samples of steel one that is 5.25% and we'll call the first one, so this is Q2, we'll call the first sample X and Y will be the second sample. And if we combine the 5.25% of the first one, and I'll convert this to decimal in a second, plus 2.84% of the second one, you should end up with 3.25 tons of 4.15%. So let's convert this into decimals. We have 0 0.0525 times x plus 0 0.0284 times y is equal to 3.25 times 0 0.0415. Remember, to convert this, which is a percentage, into decimal, and we have 0 0.134875, 0 0.134875, and our second equation will be the two samples added together. X plus Y is equal to the mass of 3.25 tons. Now we need to solve for X and Y. This is a linear system with two unknowns. If you do this correctly, you should end up with the following values. 1.77 tons at 5.25% and 1.48 at 2.84%. Make sure you watch part three for the solution to question three. And so there you have it. That is how to convert verbal statements into algebraic equations.